Hello ko nga pala sa River City. So guys, yan pala bagong video na naman. Pero bago yan, please like this video kasi 10 like equals 1 SLP ang mababurn. So kung gusto mong makatulong sa ecosystem ng Axie Infinity, so ilike mo itong video natin. Kasi nagbaburn tayo ng SLP for every 10 likes. Okay? So maliit man yun, but at least nakakatulong tayo paunti-unti para paburn yung mga SLP. So again guys, 10 likes equals 1 SLP. And yeah, like this video. So, let's start. So, uh, kilala niya to si Philip La. So, please follow him na lang din sa Twitter. No? So, ito yung kanyang mga statements with regards sa SLP. Ayan. So, meron tayong balita sa SLP. And alam ko lahat kayo nag-aabang ng balita sa SLP. Kaya ito na, iatid ko na sa inyo yung balitang yun. So, sabi niya, being at Sky Mavis the past months, no? I've learned a lot about how the company has operated. I wanted to share a bit more context, history, and plans around SLP that I think could be helpful for the community to know more about. Okay, so stay tuned, okay? And if gusto nyo ninyo ng mga ganitong klase ng updates, is mag-subscribe naman guys sa ating YouTube channel. Yan. Kung ayaw nyo, edi huwag yung mga pinipilit. Pero yan, let's start. So I'll be the first to say that SLP as a game resource does not have a balanced system in its current state. However, it can be and will be balanced. So, inamin naman nila na hindi talaga balance eh, yung economy ng SLP. Okay, talaga mayroong tawag doon hyperinflation na kung saan naging oversupply nga sa SLP. Pero it's not too late. Okay? It's not too late para sumuko tayo and tawag doon umasa na hindi na magkakaroon ng balancing system. Ang dami na kasi alam nyo yun ng fafad. Okay, merong mga ako nakikita TikTok, YouTube nagsasabi bullish daw sila sa SLP pero tawag doon ng fafad. Okay? Um, hindi ka bullish kapag ng fafad ka. <laughs> Saan alam mo yun? Okay? So, yeah. So, let's start. The next is in a web to I did it. Wala. Atawa. In a Web2 game, having an inflate, inflationary uti utility resource would matter less. Example in Pokemon Go, Sardust is inflationary, but not a major issue. Players just use it as they need to power up Pokemon. However, in Web3, it matters a lot more due to it having a real-world value. So, ibig sabihin, kasi nag nagtrabaho na to guys si Philip Plus of Pokemon Go. So, kahit na dumami, for example, di ba meron sa Mobile Legends Magic Dust? Ang dami nating Magic Dust, okay? Pero, anong nangyayari? Nakaka-apekto ba yun sa gameplay natin? Nakaka-apekto ba yun sa value ng mga skins? Wala. Kasi Web 2 Gaming. So, when it comes to Web 3 Gaming, iba na. Kasi meron ng tawag doon value yung bawat uh, item doon sa mga games. Yun kasi yung pinakaiba talaga ng Web 2 sa Web 3. So, sa Web3, yung mga items sa bawat game, magkakaroon na siya ng value in real life. Unlike sa Web2 Gaming, na yung mga nabibili mo doon na item, is hindi siya, or wala siyang value sa totoong buhay. And the next, SLP was meant to be a utility token to simply read more axes that people might want. However, of course, it has evolved into much more than that. We understand its importance to our community and it is a priority to bring balance to it. So, ito na nga. So, ang SLP, okay, ay for breeding. Okay? Though, dahil nga sa dami ng tao, nagkaroon na ng, alam yun, dahil breeding lang yung meron sa kanya for now, ang ginawa, or hindi man ginawa, ang nangyari ay dumami siya kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao nagbe-breed. Okay? So, gusto ko malaman kung breeder ba kayo dyan sa comment section. If breeder kayo, comment down below and uh, magre-react ako sa inyo. And then next, the big question people might have is, why haven't we done anything about it sooner? Why aren't we dropping everything to do something about it right now? And there is some nuance to that which I'll try to share here. Given my experience at Sky Mavis so far. Actually, that is actually... Actually? That is actually... Actually, ang ganda ng point niya dito. Kasi ako man. No, ako man. 
nasa isip ko, bakit din nila agad pinalish? Di ba? Bakit sa simula pa lang, hindi na agad nila nilagyan ng burning mechanism? Hindi na agad nila nilagyan ng limit? Di ba? Hindi sana magkakaroon ng ganito. O hindi talaga magkakaroon ito. Hindi magkakaroon ng oversupply. So, ito nga yung sagot nila. So, early last year, the team was tiny and had a long-term plan around the evolution of the game into Origin and releasing foundational tech to be able to scale over time. When the mature growth oh, happened, resources were diverted towards keeping everything running. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nila ina-expect, okay, na magkakaroon ng bigla ang paglaki last year. Okay, last year kasi talaga nag-boom yung mga play turn games, right? And this time around, play turn games are becoming dead games. Okay, ibig sabihin, wala nang may pakialam sa kanila. Okay, wala nang... Wala nang... Hindi man sobrang wala na. Pero nabawasan na ng todo yung nagkaka-interest sa mga play turn games. Kasi it's either Ponzi scheme daw, swerte lang yung mga nauuna, which is correct. Right, right now, lahat ng mga play turn games... Okay, so far, na nare-release, ay swerte yung mga nauna. Kasi mas mabilis silang mga ROI. Pero at the end of the day, at the end of the day, or kapag napolish na lahat ng to, na-balance na ecosystem, nagkaroon na ng isang magandang uh, format, okay, ng pagbabasihan ng economy, I think, uh, late earn games will again be profitable for players, okay, and gamers, and managers. Then, the team had to consider how to approach the roadmap going forward. The culture within SkyMave is given its history of building through bear markets. Has always been extremely learned towards the long-term thinking. Everything had a trade-off and if the team decided to focus on building short-term features for V2, then Origin and Ronin Tech would have been pushed out significantly. Also, any short-term features built with would all be blown thrown out eventually and need to be built again in origin. So, ito na nga. Nagkaroon na nga sila ng... Hindi siya nagpo-focus sa short term. Okay? And ito, uh, special mention ko lang din si Pegaxi. Actually, I'm kind of worried sa Pegaxi kasi nagkaroon sila ng fusion na wala naman dun sa map, sa roadmap nila. Uh, hindi ko alam kung paano nila i-utilize yun. Sobrang laki nang kinikita ng mga uh, legendary Pegas. And then yung mga tawag dun... Yung mga normal Pegas naman hindi... Alam mo yun guys, hindi na ganun kalaki yung kinikita. So, yeah, dun lang ako nag-worry. Though, sila kasi focus na lang sila. Hindi na sila nagkaroon ng, uh, ng short, term, short term plans. So, nag-focus na sila sa roadmap nila which is good. So, eto ah, if gumagawa kayo ng play turn games, I think tawag dun, maganda na kung ano talaga yung pinlano ninyo. O ano talaga yung nasa roadmap ninyo, yun ay sundin ninyo. And if magkakaroon man ng request yung mga community, ganyan, I think pag-isipan nyo ng maigi. And tingnan ninyo if ma-apektuhan ba nun yung long-term plans ninyo para sa game. Ayun lang naman. And I'm kind of worried. Pero if I have the opportunity, I will actually buy a Legendary Pega. Kasi ang bura ng Legendary Pega ngayon. And may chance ka pang makasali sa Grand Dash kapag may Legendary Pega ka. So... Yeah. So every company needs to find the right balance for this. Constantly fighting short term fires, and you never end up building long term scalable value. Focus too much on long term scalable value, and the short term fires can kill you before you get there. Sky Mavis and Axe Infinity will not be killed by this short term fire. There is funding, a clear plan, and a massive community playing this game. With that said, the current goal is. Still to ship Origin, ensure it is a fun game, and then implement the burn max as part of it. So, ginawa nila, nag-focus sila sa long term, pinaganda nila yung Origin, and marami na ako nakikita na mas nag enjoy sa Origin. Okay, as expected. Kasi mas maganda naman talaga yung Origin para sa akin kaysa sa V2. Hindi lang dahil sa graphics, no? Dahil ang ano niya eh, ang chill ng gameplay niya. Yung tipong kahit talo ka, hindi ka may ines kasi... Tanggap mo na talo ka talaga kasi mas malakas yung cards niya. Unlike sa V2 kasi, merong random crits na kahit na mas malakas ka, pero kapag nag-crit na yung kalaban mo, eh tawag doon, mabibisit ka talaga. And then, Sky Mavis, Yunapi, okay. 
Ito, we've emphasized numerous times the fun game component must come first. If players are not willing to spend play, progress, and express themselves in a the game, then all the burning mechanisms in the in the world won't matter since players don't want to spend on them. So again, kaya nila pinag- Ito ah. Di ko na, di ko na lang masyado no. Merong game na pixelated na nilaro ko rin. Ang tawag doon, ang nagkaroon ng burning mechanism. Pero dahil ang pangit ng game, okay. Ang naging focus na ng tao talaga nung nag-release siya ay yung pera. Hindi sila nagkaroon ng interest sa bumili ng skin. Uh, di ko alam kung ma- alam nyo kung ano yung game na yon Pero yan, naging dead game na siya ngayon. Almost wala nang value. No, almost sayang na sa kuryente kapag nilaro mo siya ngayon. Pero yun nga, um, may iba naman na umaman din dun, which is good. no Pero yun nga, may mga naipit din, especially yung mga nakuha ng hindi magandang hero. Pero yun, nagkaroon siya ng mga burning mechanism, pero yung mga burning mechanism nga, hindi naman din nagagamit. Kasi nga, ang pangit ng game. Okay, ang pangit ng game. We've emphasized numerous times the fun game component. Ayan, sabi ko na yan. Then we need to reach the state where every, everyone in our community loves playing the game. and is willing to spend on things like cosmetics, runes, and upgrades simply to progress to the game. Reach epic achievements and show off their axes. So, ito na nga yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Sa Mobile Legends nga, guys, okay, kung sa Mobile Legends nga, gumastos yung iba ng 60k kay Gushon. Ako, gumastos ako almost 3 to 5,000 sa mga skins. Okay, sa mga event skins na yan, gumastos ako 3 to 5,000. Then yung iba din, may mga gumastos pa ng milyon, di ba? Para sa mga skins na yan. And up until now, kapag nagkaroon ng events si Mobile Legends, is, bili ka pa rin, marami pa rin, ano akong kakilala na bili ng bili ng skin. Di ba? Lalo na pag may discount. So, kapag naka-achieve ni Axe Infinity, yung ganong klase ng hype, okay, naturally ah, naturally. Kasi Mobile Legends na-achieve niya yun naturally. Although, yes, may market niya yun, Pero hindi mo, parang hindi nila masyadong pinipilit na bumili ng skin dahil lalakas yung hero nila. Walang ganun, walang ganun. Kumbaga, bibili lang yung tao ng skin pang yabang. Okay? Pang yabang kasi may effects ka, pang TP, pang show off sa draft pick, ba diba? So, kapag na-achieve niyo yung Axe Infinity yung ganong level ng hype, I think uh, talaga magpa-plummet. Ay, hindi magpa-plummet. Uh, lilipad. Okay, lilipad talaga tong si SLP and AXS. This is all are achievable. Uh, we already know hundreds of thousands of you are playing Origin while it has no token rewards. That it that is a huge signal showing that it's a fun game. People love to play just for the game itself. So yeah, sa mga nagsasabing ang corny ng Origin, ang dami nagdalaro ng Origin. Okay? And kadara, kadalasan sa mga nakakalaro ko, eto ang kadalasan sa mga nalala, nakakalaro ko so far, hindi starter axi hindi ko alam kung dahil mahina ba yung I mean hindi personal axi hindi ko alam kung dahil mahina yung personal axi nila pero ang ginagamit nila is sila buba sila trippy yung mga libre okay and it's a signal na possibly or possible na mga walang personal axi yung mga naglalaro and they're just playing the game for fun and they're enjoying the game No? And uh, they love to play the game. Okay, uh, so ito na nga yung mga details kung paano nila ibabalance yung origin. Yan, yun yung mga burning mechanism. So ito na nga. The cherry on top for balancing will come from our many other initi- initiatives as well including builder program projects and various live ops we plan on running in the future like meeting events. Building good games is really really hard. Anyone who has worked on a game will agree. It's impossible to predict many issues, delays happen, tons of things break along the way. A single feature can take weeks to months. We appreciate our community going on this journey. On this journey with us, I hope some of this context is helpful for the community to know where we're coming from and ha- and know that we will be here to balance the economy and make Axe Infinity way more awesome no matter what for a long long time to come. Sa mga gold ng SLP dyan, yung mga walang balak bumili, yung mga walang balak mag-upgrade, 
yung mga walang balak na yung eto ah, yung TP out na, yung gusto nang umalis, yung gusto nang maka ROI. Masabi ko lang sa inyo, I think you just have to wait. Okay, hindi naman guarantee din rin to financial advice. Pero if you rin ko at the end of the day, magiging okay din naman yung presyo ng SLP in the long run. Okay, the need lang talaga ng dawag dun ng patience when it comes to, you know, kasi hindi naman madali gumawa ng game. Realistically speaking. Ang hirap gumawa ng game. And it will take time para talaga ma- but develop yung mga burning mechanism na yan. Yung mga runes, charm, skins. Diba? Siyempre, gagawa ka ng skin, daming animation yan. So, yun lang, uh, ang haba actually, pero sobrang ganda na ginawa ito ni Philip Lai. You can check out his Twitter, follow him, and subscribe na kayo and like yung tam video na to for what SLP burn. Buya. Hello ako nga pala si Reverse guys. So guys, yun, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na willing akong mag-burn ng SLP guys. Okay, so may certain conditions lang para mag-burn ako. Kailangan i-like nyo yung mga videos ko sa YouTube. Especially yung mga merong announcements na ganito. No? So 10 likes equals 1 SLP na mag-burn. So if mag-1000 likes yung video natin, pwede mag-100 SLP i-burn natin. No, uh, pag-iisipan ko pa kung gagawin kong 5 SLP or 5 likes, no, 5 likes para sa isang SLP. So depende kapag bumaba pa yung presyo sa 0.1, yung presyo ng SLP baka ganoon na yung gawin ko. Pero yeah, guys, please like our videos para makatulong tayo sa community. Sama-sama tayo dito. Uh, although yes, guys, uh, baka may yung iba diyan magsabi. Ang baba naman yan, grabe. 10 likes tapos 1 SLP lang, guys. Small YouTuber lang ako, okay? So, kaya, yun lang muna for now. Pero, once lumaki na tayo, syempre, itatry ko rin na palakiin pa yung mag- may co-contribute ko sa community natin. Okay, so, no toxic comments. Please comment good and positive things lang. Ididil ko yung mga FUD dyan. And hopefully, guys, uh, sumuro tayo patas. So, yun lang. Buya!